Well, hello everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. I am Solomon Acosta and welcome back to Oil Painting for You. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the techniques it took to create this amazing painting of Finley in a traditional oil painting style. We're gonna start by taking a scale and a brush with a little bit of asphaltum and Gamsol to thin it out. And we're gonna draw our lines for our middle thirds. And this will establish our focal point. Now that we have the rule of thirds drawn out on our panel, we're gonna use this focal area and we're gonna transfer our shapes using the squares on our panel. Now we can take our large brush with ultramarine blue, asphaltum, thinned out with Gamsol, and we're gonna do a huge wash on our panel. This might be the funnest part of the painting. This is the way a lot of the old masters used to get their underpainting started. Now we're going to do a wipeout technique with a blue shop towel and a little bit of Gamsol. This is a technique I learned from my painting coach, Stefan Bauman in Mount Shasta. I took a lot of great pictures of Finley. Let's take a look at our reference material now. We're gonna continue wiping now. We're looking for highlights and lighter value shapes. My coach, Stefan Bauman, sometimes refers to this as ghosting it in. Wow, we can already see Finley's form already start to take shape. Finley is a professional tennis ball fetcher. She's two years old and she is a Labrador retriever. When Finley is not fetching a tennis ball, she enjoys swimming and stealing shoes. We can take our brush with our darker color to add more value back to where we wiped away too much. And we're gonna to continue to do this until our drawing looks absolutely correct. This looks incredibly abstract at this point, and that's great. That's gonna help develop our underpainting. Now we'll start to add darker value to our shadow shapes. We're constantly analyzing and comparing our shapes to our reference material. 
I'm going off a laptop that I have placed in front of me. Many artists will use a variety of tools for a wipeout technique, such as clay molding tools, toothpicks, and even credit cards. Although I am a left-handed painter, I'd like you to notice here I'm using my right hand. I have a Q-tip to do some of my wipeout technique, and I'm using my left hand to put back in some more shapes. This is a great way to get an abstract look to your painting. Just about every one of my paintings has ambidextric marks in it. Doing this type of underpainting with tonal values, this is oftentimes referred to as a grisaille. What is a grisaille? Well, a grisaille is shades or tones of grayed down colors. Starting your preliminary painting out this way is a really great way to learn if you ever felt confused with colors. We're going to take a fan brush and we're going to knock some of this down now. That'll help us to build upon this even more. We're constantly moving around the painting. We don't want to get focused or bogged down in one area. We're going to continue moving around the painting, working on our values and shapes. It is persistence that will get us to the final stroke of this painting. It is tempting to want to start to put color into this painting, but doing this value study now is really going to help us when it comes to color. Now we're going to block in the sky around Finley's head. This will help us judge the values and colors. Remember to take a couple steps back every now and then and assess your work.
Now we're adding some of the highlights. Value does all the work, but color is taking all the credit. But it is temperature that is the key to painting the effect of light. We have on our brush some titanium white with lemon yellow, and we're gonna use this to paint the highlights on Finley. When we apply our highlights, we want to use horizontal strokes. This helps bring out the lighting effect. Wow, our portrait of Finley has an amazing likeness. We've even captured some of her personality. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the content that I create. And if you are interested in landscape, still life, or portraiture oil painting, feel free to contact me.